Welcome to Coding with Kiskit Runtime, the third season of Coding with Kiskit. I'm your host, Nick Braun. And for those of you who don't know me, I was trained as an experimental physicist before coming to IBM to develop quantum hardware. I've since moved out of the lab, where I enabled the use of Kiskit and IBM backends as research tools, whether by example, often in collaborative research projects, writing software on top of Kiskit to try out new ideas on the hardware, or making videos like these to educate the community. I'm also friends with the previous hosts of Coding with Kiskit, Abe and Jen, through our participation in Kiskit community events. Their seasons covered getting started with Kiskit and learning about quantum algorithms. In this season of Coding with Kiskit, we will explore how you build quantum programs in an abstract and modular way, and then run them efficiently with Kiskit runtime. This involves extending the concept of execution with backend.run from the previous seasons with calls to abstracted primitives in a runtime session. Executing this framework allows efficient queue usage and reduced hardware latency, a range of error suppression and mitigation levels, and it's a managed service that can be updated with performance improvements. Instead of learning about quantum algorithms in this series, we will refer back to our Understanding Quantum Information and Computation YouTube series and previous episodes of Coding with Kiskit. That may sound like a lot, but don't worry. We'll start from the beginning. 